Ah, uh, dude. Anytime I launch Minecraft, it's just like... The music is so peaceful. It's literally like... One of those soundtracks that's infused into your your blood. Like, this game is a part of you. And I, I, I say sappy and nostalgic stuff all the time, but I, I really mean it about this game. Uh, it's crazy. It's just like... I would be nothing. I wouldn't be what I am today, rather, without Minecraft and what it was to me when I was younger. Anyway, I, I didn't even really mean to be nostalgic. It just kind of just kind of happens when like, like I listen to a piece of music that I listened to a long time ago, or I watch a movie um, I watched a long time ago. Anyway, the point of this video was um, uh, for the last two months, uh, me and a big group of friends created a Minecraft realm and I just wanted to show it off because we've been spending a lot of time on it and it's pretty dope. Uh, the people in this realm are Matthew, Dylan, Caden, Milo, Finley, Jimmy, other Dylan, and a bunch of other people from City Lab that you guys wouldn't know, and Kevin. Is Kevin in it? No. Actually, I don't think Kevin's in it. Um, anyway, is anyone playing right now? No. I'm by myself. Anyway, so the story of this realm is uh, also... Don't look at anything. I'm going in this corner. The story of this realm is we had a big town next to spawn, and I'm going to ride over there and show you guys it. But then we all split up because, like, you know, uh, turf wars and whatnot. So, so we all made different bases every in uh, all sorts of areas in the map, and I'm going to visit every single one. This is where I live currently. It's a big mountain base, and I'm going to go to the bottom of it and show you everything. Um... But there's like about a total of five bases to show you guys, so I'm gonna go to every single one. Anyway, this is our base. This is my base where I live currently, and a bunch of other people also live in this castle. It's on top of this big snowy mountain. There's a bunch of houses and little things to show you, so let's get started. I'm gonna ride back in, and we'll start from the bottom. Now, it's not completely done, not even close. There's still a bunch of open space, but there is a, it's a really populated. Anyway, this is our little stable thing. We got some llamas and horses, whatever. Let's head inside. This is the actual door, and the only way to get in is to have someone let you in, which is the whole point. But if you have a horse, you can just hop that for right now. This is where Milo's house used to be, and then Matthew dug all this out to make a big chunk, and he moved out because uh, he didn't want his house to be over a void. This is a minecart system that I'm using to get to all the other places. It's not finished right now, not even close, but I started it a, a while ago. Here's a little staircase up to the rest of the areas. This is a storage area that Caden made. It's pretty awful. One boring room. Um, up here is Dylan and Tammy's house. They live together. Now, there's a railway system that you can travel around the whole area with, but I'm gonna save that for last. Anyway, yeah, they live in this house together. First floor and second floor. Somewhat unfinished. Anyway. Moving right on. This is a creeper structure. It's one of the first things I built when I came to this area. I immediately built the creeper face and then put my house right behind it. Um, down here. This is like a bamboo little corner. Nothing special. Here is a staircase up to both my our both our wheat farm and the swimming pool right here. It looks pretty decent. It's not entirely finished. There's just some cobblestone right there. And this is another entrance to my house, but we'll cover that later. There's a zombie over there. Hello. And this is a staircase that leads back onto the main stuff. I'm doing, like, strip my Uh, not strip mining. What are they called? Um, where you do, like, farming different layers on... Anyway, whatever. These are different elevations for farms. And up here at the highest level is carrots, melons, and pumpkins. And I don't know what I'm going to put up there quite yet uh, and then we're back on the main staircase here's some lava and water features and you can probably hear them up here is our gigantic sheep farm there's some stone under these guys so they can't exactly grow their stuff back i'm too lazy to put grass under there but there's all sorts of different sheep colors in here and we can shear them to get them one black sheep in the white sheep area and then we have cows and pigs then moving up to the top area this is the big part. Here's our flag. Jimmy lives in this thing. 
we go up. If he lives up here. It's actually a really well done little thing. It's not finished, obviously. I don't know if he's gotten on to finish it in a while. Anyway, I'm hungry. Alright. Um, we're going to hit the roller coaster last, like I said. And then, really, the last two things, or actually, there's a couple smaller things. Nether portal right there, a mob spawner. Let me see if I did this right now. <laughs> These guys can't blow up, and they're all one shot. Except for you. Hello. Two shots. Okay. Yeah. You can feed a little mob spawner for XP and mm, mob drops. Uh, Jesus Christ, because it looks cool. Small little sugarcane farm. I'll probably put in a bigger one on one of those levels that I showed you. Um, incinerator, infinite water source, our mine shaft that goes right down to level 12 for diamonds, and sheep mine down there. Uh, this used to be Caden's house, but a freak creeper accident happened, and now it's all gone. That's the creeper face over there. Um, and then here's my little hobbit hole where I live. Through here is our enchantment room. It's not entirely done yet, but it's getting there. Ender chest, other chest that has like dumb stuff in it. Uh, my sleepiness jukebox and music. I don't know what this chest is. It's kind of like miscellaneous stuff that doesn't defies category. Potions, potions, blocks, uh, resources, ores, food, railways, or redstone contraptions, wool and dye, and then decoration, I would imagine that is. And then all my furnaces and whatnot. And then back here, this is the brewery that's not completely done yet. And then this is where the swimming pool is again. Oh, hey, there's a zombie going for a swim. How epic. Sorry, sir. Anyway, now we get to move on to other people's areas where they live. Uh, so we're going to ride our horse over to each area. Actually, no, we got to take the mine, mine cart. <laughs> I built this, by the way. And then it just loops. It's pretty cool. Oh. oh, what the heck? There's a piece of cart broken off there. Weird. I'll have to fix that. Anyway, whatever, whatever. Who cares? Um, moving on. Let's now. Let's go to the you know the other people's places. All right. First up here is Dylan and Milo's old trading post. This was kind of the center hub of all our areas when we went and you know separated. Uh, it's unpopulated now. All the stuff's been moved since they all, you know, they live in different places now. But, uh, this used to be where they kept all their animals. Most of them are gone now. Uh, this is Milo's house, I believe? I can't remember. Bunch of chests. Whatever. Zombie. Hello. I don't know what's down over here. I never knew. What is this? I think this is just a mine shaft. What is this? I think this is just a mine shaft. Yeah. Anyway, this is their mine shaft. Up next, we got Dylan's house, I think. There used to be an iron door there, but it's all gone now. Chests full of stuff. Whatever. And then their farm. Pretty cool. Um, they actually did trade stuff with us frequently, but it's really just like a center hub of everywhere, uh, especially for navigation. Anyway, we're moving on to site number two. All right, so we're at site numero uno, the very beginning. This was our first town where we all lived, named Dirtville. Uh, first exhibit here is Caden's house that's kind of situated outside the castle walls. Castle walls, but, you know, it's it's pretty nice. I fell. Oh, uh, now I'm stuck. Awesome. Alright, now we're moving into Central Dirtville. Uh, it used to be somewhat open, but we built these walls to protect ourselves from the people that would come kill us. And here we are in Dirtville. 
There's different uh, exit points. Here's an infinite water source, a lava source, nether wart farm. That's where we got obsidian. All right, lava early game and obsidian. Our wheat farm, sugarcane farm, watchtower. This is Milo's old house. Let's go ahead and go inside. Most of the house is behind this secret thing. What was to say? Very nice. And here's another one. Hello there. And yeah. It's Milo's house. I don't know what this is, just a, something that someone built. I built this flag, it's dope, freaking amazing. Oh, there's a little bell. It's kind of like a flagpole. I think it looks awesome. Uh, here is be wary, Breb52 ahead. This is our sheep hole, our chicken hole, and our cow hole. Many <laughs> math, he said. Um, cobblestone generator, which I need to make. There's bamboo all over the place, our old nether portal that was destroyed because we don't want to uh, teleport to it anymore. Uh, here is my house, but we're not going to go there just yet. We're going to see Matthew's house first. Running out of food. Here it is. Uh, early game, me and Matthew were the first people to build in this area, by the way. Uh, and we situated our houses right next to each other. And... Uh, he would always just like dump food into this little hole because I I was doing a hobbit hole And this was all a cave system like there's a cave actual cave past that point And I would just have a door there and he had a hole in his floor And he would just toss food and stuff down to me through this hole and he eventually built a Built a trap door so he could do it more effectively anyway Moving right on his is more like a tower uh, There's some monster stuff a hole in the wall. This is my house, but we're not going there just yet like I said Here is our main mine shaft takes forever to navigate. Really ineffective. This was our old enchanting room before we relocated. Uh, storage area, I imagine. Uh, oh yeah, this is a cool hallway that Ma Matthew built. It's our, this was where our brewery was, and he had this cool little hallway that it was like you went to the nether. And this is where all our potions used to be. And the brewing tables. Moving back. Yeah. This whole this didn't used to be here by the way, you had to go all the way around. Uh this is our old water place to fill up water buckets. Little lava feature, some magma blocks, whatever, useful stuff. Here is a makeshift incinerator that you go up here and use the trapdoor to incinerate things. Which kind of like serves two purposes. Furnaces. I don't know what this is. There used to be a painting here and this is where I hit all my diamonds, but I had to relocate, obviously. Water and lava features, and then now we enter my house. My main area of my house. Uh, this is where we were before, so we just go in this door. Here's my bedroom. This is where an arm and was, and my personal tools here. I upgraded to an ender chest, so... Yeah. Food and resources. Blocks. Whatever. <laughs> Songs used to be here. A bunch of other miscellaneous tables. I guess I'll just take these with me. And a hay bale, because I used to have a campfire right there. And we're at the top. Oh, and also this chimney. So that you could, like, you know, choose to open or close the fumes. Fume passage. Moving up, we have... Um... The main reason we split up, Dylan. Planted a bunch of bamboo everywhere. So... This, is, this was going to be our castle, but... It's not that anymore. Uh, this is where Jimmy was when he first joined. This is the police department, and he was our uh, officer of the law. This is the prison cell that I'm going to sleep in. Not a good idea. Let's close that up. Closer. Oh god, I broke the bamboo. What's down here? Oh. Weird. Creeper hole, I imagine. Anyway, that's an all of Dirtville, I think. Yeah. Look at all the bamboo. Uh, I'm really hungry. Where's my horse? Here he is. 
there's one more out of the wall thing from Dirtville, and that's Dylan's house, which was more north. And oh my god. Ravine, by the way, but oh, I never, I never saw this. Get the frick out of the way. Oh my. What the? I can't even, I can't even get through. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I gotta get through. <laughs> So much bamboo. Uh. I need to get off the horse for a second. Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is Dylan's old house. I believe it blew up, but oh my god, there's so much bamboo. Jesus Christ. And apparently they were digging a hole out of spawn somewhere. Like a big chunk all the way to bedrock. I'm not totally sure about that or how true that is i'm gonna go to spawn and see if i can see anything uh and that's it for dirtville let's now move on to our third thing third and last thing and that would be matthew and jimmy's castle so it's way south from here so i gotta do a lot of writing Oh god, that was... Get off the beddies! Alright, I think we're almost here. Oh, here we are. Alright, this is Jimmy and Matthew's much more impressive kingdom. Uh, here we are. So they did theirs in the bottom of a mountain. I did mine on top of the mountain. And this is their nether portal. An overlook of it. The walls are incredible. Like, really well done. Anyway, let's go explore. If you hear, buddy. Anyway, down the stairs, we'll get to the main area. Who? Here we have sudden diagonal sugarcane, a water feature. Up here is the enchantment room with some lapis. Ow. Mob grinder. Oop, and down. Oh god. And this is, uh, their water elevator. Down to their mine area, I imagine. Here's a water lava feature. I always, I'm so, always scared that the chunk of glass came out. I'm gonna walk across that. Here is their farm. The sheep, their wheat, and what used to be their cows until I stole them. <laughs> uh, some infamous bamboo over there. I don't like to look at it. Moving on. Back to the main area. We got some barrels and composter paper. What is this? Scaffolding up to something. Just this area. Minecart rail. What is this? Oh, this is just the lookout tower. Some chests of nothingness. And you can travel the wall. There's some trees in here. Pretty cool. What is that out there? I never even noticed that. Anyway. This is all wall stuff. Nothing you're really missing out on. And then right here in the middle we have a statue. Of their leader. Llama stand. Oh, what is this? Just a boat. And then their dock. Dock. 
over here is somebody's house, I think. Anyway. And then we have a little canopy thing. What is this? African American Smith. <laughs> uh, yeah, the blacksmith. And then free cake for the cake stand. The mushroom farm is down there. And then the smelting room with an abandoned mine shaft in it. Let's go check out the mushroom farm. Can I go down? There we go. It's very dark, so we get some mobs spawning in it. But this is it. Anyway, back up. Let's close that bad boy up. And let's go check out what these houses are back here. Oh yeah, this is somebody's house. With upstairs and downstairs, whatever. Who cares? Can I go down? Thanks. And then out here. We got some stuff going on. Home to the Blue Sentinels. Oh, that's that. And what is this? Just somebody's house? Okay. And another house. Weird. Huh. Anyway. That was the realm so far. Uh, it's a lot of fun playing Minecraft again, especially with a bunch of friends. Our um, Mountain Kingdom is going along pretty well. I might do some videos on it in the future. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna ride back to my Mountain Kingdom, have a nice sleep, and, uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and comment if you guys think. And remember, stay gamer.